our entrance antiphon. My deliverer from angry nations, you set me above my assailants. You save me from the violent man, O Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Amen. with your spirit. As we have these days of Lent, uh, we have some of these famous stories. We had the famous fire of Meshach, Abendo, and uh, Shadrach. And so that's our first reading this morning. Uh, as we gather, we know of God's mercy, God's forgiveness, and God's company in our lives. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the Messiah, the anointed one of God. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have, have mercy. mercy. Jesus, you are the light that dispels the darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. Enlighten, O God, of compassion, the hearts of your children sanctified by penance, and in your kindness, Grant those you stir to a sense of devotion, a graciously hearing when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I have made. Whenever you hear the sound of a trumpet, lute, lyre, harp, psaltery, bagpipe, and all other musical instruments, Otherwise, you shall be instantly cast into the white hot white furnace. And who is the God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, There is no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If our God, whom we serve, can save us from the white hot furnace and from the hands, O King, may he save us. But even if he will not, know, O king, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden statue that you set up. King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with utter rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual and had some of the strongest men in his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the white-hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, Did we not cast three men bound into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered. But, he replied, I see four men, unfettered and unhurt, walking in the fire, and the fourth looks like the Son of God. Nebuchadnezzar explained, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel to deliver the servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise, praise forever. forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and, and praise forever. forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory, Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory, Glory and praise forever. Praise 
to those Jews who believed in him. If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples. And, if, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, Everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in the household forever, but a son always remains. So if the son frees you, then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you're trying to kill me, because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence. Then do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me. The man has told you the truth that I heard from, from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father? So they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one Father, God. Jesus said to them, If God were your Father, you would love me. For I came from God, and I am here. I did not come from my, on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. On Monday, Father Mike was talking about the dichotomy between the first reading and the second reading, how we had Susanna, who was innocent, and when then in the Gospel, the lady who was caught on Dr. B being guilty. We kind of have that dichotomy like that today. We have, um, you know, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, people of great faith and trusting in God, willing to go into a fiery furnace. And then you have the people in the Gospel that they're not truly believing in Jesus or questioning their, their, their examining him. They're not willing to give faith to him, who he is. And I think that's the thing as we look at this, especially I look at that first reading, you know, the faith that these three guys had is immense. I mean, they didn't question, they didn't doubt, you know. They, they, they had this faith that God would take care of them. They didn't know what was going to happen when they went into that fiery furnace. They didn't know what was going to happen. They, they just knew that God was with them and that God would take care of them. They didn't know how he would take care of them, but they had faith in God. And I think that's the same kind of faith that we have to have. <clears throat> we don't know the outcome of all this, what's going on. You know, people are looking for dates. People are looking for time. Oh, when are we going to be able to get back to the church? When is school going to be able to get started again? And somehow we have to trust the Lord. Because when we start putting those kind of conditions, oh, we got this date or this time and all that, we kind of have a feeling of a sense of control. It kind of like, we kind of know what's going on. And what the Lord is asking is the trust. Trust in not, not knowing what's going to go happen. We have trust like she, Sh Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, a faith in God that just is willing to walk into the fire that God has given to us in our lives with this, this, this coronavirus. And being, you know, doing all the things that we need to do for not spreading it, not making it any worse. You know, doing the things that we that were asked to do so that we can kind of, as they say, flatten the curve so that we can have that time that we will again be back in church and be back in school and doing the things that are so normal to us. And so let us pray for God, our faith and trust in the Lord. And let us also pray for those who are really struggling. There's so many people who are struggling in one way or another, are not believing are just kind of brushing it off that, ah, it's really nothing. It's not going to affect me. It's not going to do anything to me. And, you know, we have to trust um, those who are, are, are very knowledgeable about all this and trusting in their wisdom and their scientific uh, knowledge, but also trusting the church, trusting our bishops and our Holy Father at this time also. So we 
pray for them and their leadership today. Trusting in God's providence as Abraham did, let's offer our prayers to God. That Christ may continue to strengthen the faith of church leaders in their work of witnessing to the gospel of his planet. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That all who are elected to lead nations and peoples may be guided by the just hand of God in all their decision making. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit may give comfort to those who struggle with chronic illness or pain. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That our Latin practices may be inspired by Jesus' own prayer and fasting. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That God may bless our faithful departed and grant them eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for Amy McKenna, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, these are the prayers that we come today to offer to you. We trust that, Father, they care, even sometimes when we don't understand, even when things not are going the way that we thought they would go, but to trust in your goodness and your mercy and your kindness and generosity and compassion. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mysterious water and wine, we will come to share the past day. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine which we offer to you. We should receive fruit of the vine and work of human hands become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive back, O Lord, these sacrificial offerings, which we, you have now given to be offered to the honor of your name, and grant that we may become remedies for our healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, a duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God. Through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received the heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks and exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginnings are ceasing at work so that the human race may become holy just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings and pour out upon them the power of your spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, and whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, that we were once lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death, 
did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the word of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, knowing it was, he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, he handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are a faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim, who reconciles to you the human race. The kindly and most compassionate Father and those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, that they may, we may be gathered into the one body of Christ who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis our Pope and Robert our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom. To the hour when we stand before you, saints among saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we commend to your mercy, then freed at last from the womb of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And Amen. with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
And let us make an act of spiritual communion together. And we pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, that they may purge all evil from our heart and strengthen us with eternal protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, one brief announcement is that um, we didn't give you a whole lot of information beforehand besides yesterday. Uh, the church is going to be closed all day today. They are steam cleaning all the uh, rugs, and so they'll be wet. So no one's asked to walk on them. And so church will be closed the entire day of today on Wednesday, uh, April the 1st. And it's not an April Fool's joke, just to let you know that. Confessions tonight? There will be no confessions tonight. So uh, just to let you know, church is totally closed today till tomorrow on Thursday. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Bow your heads down for this blessing. Attend... Almighty God, to the prayers of your people as you endow them with the confident hope in your compassion. Let them feel as ever the effects of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.